there's one. There he is. Oh, I still got him. We gotta go. Oh, Cromer, big Cromer. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode, guys. This week, we have another great one for you. We are headed to the river to do an overnight camping and fishing adventure. We're going to be targeting king salmon, and rumor has it, there's some real tackle busters out there. We just stopped in here at Hank and Sons Bait and Tackle. We got some hooks, we got stocked up on some thunder sticks, and we're heading to the river. If you guys are ever in the Manistee area, make sure to come by Hank and Sons and check them out. It's a great local small business to support, and they have everything you're gonna need to fish the river for salmon and steelhead, but without further do let's go head to the river baby it is middle of August and our goal of this trip is to enjoy a calm quiet river and some beautiful summer weather that is definitely not going to last much longer I absolutely love spending time on the water this time of year there's something so satisfying about working hard when there's not a lot of fish in the river system yet and just grinding through holes and feeling accomplished when you do have success I am absolutely thrilled to be back out on the river. The goal this afternoon, guys, is to head down river, find a spot to camp, set up camp, and maybe do a little fishing if we have time, but our main goal is to fish all day tomorrow. It is just a gorgeous afternoon. Mike just got here, we're loading up the boat with gear, and we're gonna start heading down river. I cannot wait. What's up, dude? Living the dream. What's Living up, the dream. Let's go get them. It's beautiful out here today, hey? Look at this. He even brought a fan. This is camping in luxury, Mike. This is why the guy keeps me around, people. Loaded down with some goodies? Yeah. All right. Plates and stuff on top. Okay. All right, guys, we are on the river. We're about to head down. This is gonna be an awesome boat ride. It's just an absolutely beautiful afternoon out here. We got a ways to go. We're gonna hurry up, get down river, get camp set up. So hopefully we can do a little fishing here yet this afternoon. All right, here we go, guys. The journey down river begins. River Salmon 2022, baby. Oh my God, dude. I just saw a huge king jump right there in that hole. This is going to be an awesome trip, whether the fish cooperate or not, but we are very hopeful that we'll be able to find some fresh, early run Chinook salmon. These types of adventures are right up my alley, and I'm really thankful that I started filming so I can share them with you guys, and I'll always have something to look back on and remember these experiences. Okay, we got camp set up guys. We got firewood cut. We are now gonna go out and throw some thunder sticks for the last hour of the evening here. It is just absolutely gorgeous out here. And I have heard at least a dozen fish rolling this hole behind me. So there is definitely a good amount of fish in the river. Mike got us some nice dry firewood, broke up some dry stuff off the floors for. One thing guys, going into salmon season is always make sure to one, pack up after yourself, pack out everything you pack in. Fish just rolled right behind me here. That's one of the things, guys, that drives me nuts about salmon season is all the trash and pollution that collects on these riverbanks. So let's just make sure going into this year that we're all doing our part to keep these rivers clean. Oh! 
Oh, oh, I just had a crack. Oh my God. I was going to turn on my GoPro and something just about ripped the rod out of my hand. Oh my gosh, guys. Right within my first couple casts, I saw my chest cam wasn't running. 100% had a hit. Oh, look. dude, that's right where my thunder stick was when I had a bite too, right where that fish just jumped. Oh my gosh. Oh, snag, bro. I gotta go get a snag out. Oh, I forgot my Rapala pole. There we go, nice. We were absolutely terrorized by fish jumping, but they were not biting. We had a couple so-so bites maybe, but not much for sure. So we're gonna get some dinner, get some sleep, and hit it early in the morning tomorrow. We're just gonna have to dial them in because they were not activated tonight, but hopefully in the morning they will be, and we can get some nice kings to the boat. Oh my God, bro, what is that? What are those eyes? What is that? Look at, behind the tent, dude. Something's walking to me, bro. Something's walking towards us. Get your light out. What is it? It's over on this ridge over here. What is it? I can't see what you're talking about. Keep walking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Raccoon. It's a raccoon? Yep. Oh. Right we're, okay, we're going to have coon problems for sure. Oh my gosh. They're gonna, are we about to get terrorized by coons all night? Well, good morning and welcome back. We are out on the river early this morning, guys. It's about just after 4 a.m. We did not get a whole lot of sleep last night, but the fish are still active. It was pretty cool sleeping and hearing those fish jumping. The river is quiet, the river is peaceful, and we got this place to ourselves. It's gonna be an awesome day. Dude, I don't, dude, something, dude. I don't know what that was all about. Fish just thrashed out there. It is so beautiful out here. Mornings are by far my favorite time of the day, and this is the reason why. All I can hear is the sound of the river trickling and all of the wildlife in the area. We've had eagles flying the riverbed just across the stream from us. There's a blue heron that has caught several fish now. We've jumped deer and the salmon are splashing. It's such a unique experience because you get to see nature and the world awake in its natural state. And it's something I think most people truly miss out on by not getting themselves outdoors to experience these type of things. Well, no takers on the Thunder Six, guys. We threw for a while, we had a couple bumps, definitely a couple bites, but we didn't hook up on any fish. So we're gonna start skein fishing now. Typically, if I was gonna keep throwing Thunder Six, I'd keep moving, but we got in a good hole and there's quite a few other boats around us. So we wanna protect our skein fishing hole. Yeah, 
Oh my goodness, that was 100% bite. Okay guys, we're right out in front of camp. Our first spot was not successful this morning. We had a few skein bites, but we did not hook up on any fish. So we decided to move while it's still early in the day and we are right out in front of camp now. So this is gonna be pretty ironic if we hit fish here. Oh dude, I was really hoping for connection there, dude. Got one. Fish on, baby. Nice! Come on! Mike, that's a big fish, dude. That is a big fish, dude. Look at those shark fins. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Oh my gosh, here we go, guys. Here we go, big man, I'm gonna go under you, Mike. I'm gonna go under you. Got him, baby! We got him! Mike, we got one, buddy. Right out in front of camp, guys. We got to our hole at four o'clock this morning. Didn't hit a single fish in both the holes we started in. Then we came right out in front of camp and just landed a beautiful male. That is a very healthy, nice, clean looking fish. Dude, right out in front of camp, man. <laughs> Got him guys, got him guys. Just went deeper, just went deeper baby. Oh, he's right by a big log. I think he's in wood. He's in wood, man. He's in wood, he's in wood. Oh my gosh, gotta start up. Man, he went right into it. Ah. Hook up number two, right out in front of camp. This thing got me in a log before I even had a chance, man. He just, he dove right underneath. I couldn't even, yup, broke me off. That's all he left me with. I couldn't even gain traction on him. I just buttoned down, he was head shaking, rolling, came right to the middle of the river, went right underneath of the log, and snapped me off instantly. That's how it goes, that's fishing. We've hooked two now, right out in front of camp. We're gonna go get back up in our hole, see if we can hook a third. Oh, oh, bro, I felt him jar me through the rod. Dude, I felt him jar me through the rod. Oh, that's the first time I've went down there literally all day. Yeah. Dude. Nothing, nothing bumped there at all. And I even went shallower, bro. Oh, oh. Dude, just got bobbed hard. Got bobbed hard, same spot. I've been through this hole, right through there, probably up towards 100 times now. We've been fishing this hole for the last two hours. <laughs> My last three casts in a row, guys. My last three casts in a row, guys. I've had a bob. I've missed it. He's robbed me three times now. We're, we're going in the strike zone. Right in there, baby. Yep. Oh my, dude, how, 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 how? Yep. Oh, did you see her flash? No, 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 no. Guys, I saw the fish. I don't know if you could see it in the GoPro, but I came back on it because I had so much slack line out. I was set like 12 feet deep and I couldn't even pull back on all my slack line. I was set so deep. I barely made connection with the fish. And we saw the fish roll and the fish got off. It was a fish the whole time, bobbed me all those times, dude. Did you see how big it was? Dude, it was huge. Gosh darn it. Oh my gosh, I don't know what that was. A shaded spot wouldn't be better, but. There's one. There he is. Oh, I still got him. Oh my gosh, guys. We gotta, oh, Cromer, big Cromer. Yeah, yeah, take us all the way to the sand bar over there, brother. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. He's over a ton of wood right now.
Nope, just keep floating back, brother. I think he's around a log. He's around a log for sure. But I still feel, okay, turn the motor all the way left. Turn the motor all the way left. Nice, nice and easy, ease into the throttle. Okay, go. Okay, hit it again. Hit it again, okay, nice. Okay, straighten out your motor, straighten out your motor. Okay, now straighten it out. Hit it, throttle a little bit. Okay, hit throttle, hit throttle. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys. This is crazy, this is crazy. Okay, got it around one lock. Okay, Mike, drop back, bro. Drop back, drop back. Reverse, yep. No, okay, just flow back, flow back. Oh shit, it's into another log. Okay, yeah, forward, forward. Forward, quick. I don't know if he's, oh, he's still there. Oh my gosh, look at this giant turtle, guys. Oh, Mike, get us over there, brother, get us over there. Look at this giant, they're mating, they're mating. Okay, pause there, bro. Okay, we got underneath one lock. Okay, 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 hit forward, hit forward, forward. Okay, other way. Back to the left or the right? Yep, left. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Got it out, bro. Got out of one, okay, go over there, go over there. I gotta pray for a miracle here. Okay, straighten out your motor. Okay, I just can't. He's gone, he's gone. Oh, he's gone, he's gone. Oh my gosh, guys, that was so intense. That fish was huge, that fish was chrome, and that fish absolutely schooled me. We fished this hole for about a half hour, and then finally the bobber just rocketed right in the middle of the hole. That thing came up head shaking, thrashing, going nuts. I didn't have a chance. He whooped my butt down to the logs, got in about five different logs. We got it out of a couple, but he just kept wrapping in them. There's just nothing we could do. Oh, just got bobbed hard. Just got bobbed so hard. Oh, he's still bobbing it. He's still bobbing it. He's still bobbing it. Jeez. Same spot, just, oh, look at that one. Look at, one just came out of the hole. They're, they're shooting everywhere. I saw more shooting back into the hole over there. Okay, I just, I gotta make it count, guys. I gotta make this fish right here count. He's gonna give me a chance, and I gotta make it count. It's gonna be within the next six casts. Just gotta be ready for it. Right in this general area, going into right now. No, dude. I don't know what that was, dude. That was so weird, though. Oh. Oh. Get ball! Oh, no. No, 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 guys. Oh, the heartache continues. He spit the hook right back at me. I had him, too, dude. I saw the fish. Did you see the fish? I saw the fish roll, dude. There he is. There he is. Got him. Got him. Mike. We're going to drive him to the other side, guys. Away from the structure. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh, it's a hog, dude. It's a hog. Dude, it's a hog. It's another hog and it's chrome. It's chrome. Oh my gosh. It's really trying to get me in the water game, guys. Oh, there goes fish. He's in wood, bro. He's in wood. Gosh, in the wood again. Four. Okay, reverse. Okay, just a sec. I got it out. Okay, forward. Okay, stop. Reverse. He's still, okay, stop. Oh, I think he just came off, bro. He just came off. Oh, he just came off. I think he just came off. Yeah, he came off. Again, look at all this wood, guys. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. We worked that hole for so long 
missed several bites and finally hooked up on a fish and just another bruiser man there's so much wood down there it's just they're going right for it I, I couldn't stop that fish I could not put any more pressure on that fish and stop it it was just on a tear that's one thing like it's almost easier on the smaller rivers because they don't have as much space to gain momentum on their fast runs on this big river they can just gain so much momentum with that tail flop and they just get you right into the wood and I've been getting absolutely destroyed today. I've been getting my butt kicked, guys. I think I'm 0 for 5. Just give me a good 10 pounder, you know what I'm saying, dude? Just give me a good 10 pounder. Just a nice, cute little guy I can just manhandle. There he is. There he is. Nope, don't even move, bro. It is a small one. <laughs> I just asked for a small one. I'm like, please. Oh, it's a brown. It's a brown trout. No way. It's a brown. What a gorgeous little river brown, guys. Not what we're expecting, but we'll definitely take him. We're going to get him right back. We just want to give you a quick shot. Get him right back in the water. And there he goes, back into his home. It was crazy. That bit, just like a king. You know, the bobber bobbed once and it just rocketed down. Stuck him and brown trout. <laughs> Oh, did you see that, dude? That was a for sure bite. Dude, right when I was half swing, that bobber came back up out of the water. He mashed my bag. He mashed my bag, guys. Gosh, we got a bag masher in there. We got fish in there. We just got to keep working. We'll get our chances. Yep. Oh, yep, yep, yep. You want me to start off with No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet, bro. Yes, <laughs> Put it to him, guys. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. I'm just hanging on for dear life. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a powerful fish. What a powerful fish. I've been fishing this hole for a while, guys. Fished it for a while, about an hour. I kept getting it right next to this log and I had a little sniff and I just kept working the same drift time and time again. And finally, it bit. Every fish today has just came so casually and he is just sharking across all this wood. This is right where I lost that big fish earlier, guys. And this time, just gonna hold the I'm just gonna hold my ground and just keep my rod up and try to keep that line at a little bit of an up angle. I was able, oh my gosh, I was able to stop him at the beginning from getting momentum and taking me all down through that structure like the last one did. It's a little smaller fish than what I've been hooking, so it's a little more manageable, but I'm still just getting absolutely tore up by this thing, guys. Finally, we got some cloud cover as well. Oh. It's a little darker of a fish, but it's a good fish. The other ones were so chrome, guys. This is a little darker. It looks like a hen, actually. I thought it was a male. It looks like a hen. Gosh, the other ones were just chromers compared to this one, but that's okay. This is still a beautiful fish and a little more, of, little more manageable on this one for sure. And I am happy to have had her. Even now that I've got her to the sand, I feel like I've won. <laughs> oh, she's trying to press the boat. Okay, I'm gonna swing her to the other side, Mike. She's a little darker. This is a lot darker than the other fish I was hooking. Let's see what it is. I can't even tell if it's a male or female. Mike, finally, I get redemption, man. <laughs> guys, it has been a long time coming. I've got my butt kicked so many times today, guys. I am so thankful to have caught this fish finally. Whew, it has been a hard fought day. Well guys, this fish is a little smaller and a little darker than the ones I was hooking earlier, but you know what? I am happy to have her and finally get some redemption. Just an unbelievable battle. I was able to stop her before she really got her momentum and got me down into that log jam area like the other ones did. So this is awesome guys. We've been using a ton of bait today, so it was good to replenish some bait. We're going to keep this fish, we're going to harvest this fish and use her eggs for some bait coming up and Maggie's going to smoke her up in a recipe coming up here. Well all the pressure is off guys, I was able to redeem myself. 
I definitely needed that after those last few fish, so that feels really good. Those ones I lost were all so big and chrome, I just couldn't do anything with them. That fish that I just landed there, I was able to stop her before she got ahead of steam. Like those other fish were so chrome and powerful, they just got so much momentum going and they just did whatever they wanted with me. I couldn't do anything with them. They got me in one log and once they had that leverage, they just got me in all the other logs until the line just finally broke. But I'm super thankful to have caught that fish. It is so hot out here today. It's about 85 degrees right now and we finally just got a little cloud cover so that feels amazing. But it has been really hot and the water's really low. It's middle early August right now so the water's really warm and when the water is warm like this, these fish get really finicky. We've had to pinpoint these baits, put them right in their faces to get them to bite and every fish that we've hooked has been after fishing the hole for at least 20-30 minutes. So we're just taking our time fishing hard and coaxing these finicky fish into biting. Honestly, this is amazing too, dude, you know, like being able to come down here in this beautiful ass river without any boats right now and hit fish, you know. I mean, we're not killing them, but we're hitting enough to be happy. Oh, there's one. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, guys. Okay. I'm going to try to keep her in the top. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Come on, baby. Turn. Oh, my gosh. He's trying to. Oh, he's streaking up river. Wow. This fish is doing whatever he wants with me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my goodness. He's just ripping up river. And he's sharking on the bank. And now he's flying at me with the bank at reel. Ah, I'm gonna have a blister on my finger. <laughs> he's flying back down at me, guys. Oh my gosh, I can't even reel fast enough. He's about going slack. He's trying every move in the book. Oh, oh, he just deflected off the log. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. 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 Okay, here we Oh, oh, she just deflected off a big log. I'm gonna come to the front of the boat, Mike. She's just shaking her head, man. Looks great. Look at these beaut look at these big beautiful logs just filling the floor, filling the river bottom here. I'm gonna try to get her on this side. I'm gonna pull the anchor too, Mike. I'm just gonna float back with her. It does not look like she's hooked very well, guys. I can see that hook is just barely in that outside tissue of her mouth. Look at look at those line marks on her from rolling up in there. Here we go, Mike. Oh, she's just rolling and spinning. Rolling and spinning. Got her, brother. Yes. Yes. Wow, guys. <laughs> Redemption, baby. Redemption. That's what I call redemption and look how beautiful guys this fish is just look at that nice Look at that nice snow belly on her that hook just pegged right in the top of her mouth That is just a beautiful August River King. She's gonna have some great meat on her Well, that's a little fresher one guys. That's more like it two in a row, baby Two for two on the last two after going like 0 for 5 this morning, but just a perfect hook set. Honestly, I don't know if I could have handled a much bigger of a fish. This fish pretty much had her way with me. I was just lucky and she didn't get me in any structure. So I, I, I don't know. It, it is just unbelievable how much power these fish have. They are so powerful and so beautiful. I have so much respect for them. Well, we have the boat packed up with all of our gear. That's the last of it. We made sure to pick everything up. We got our boat packed up and we are about to begin our trek back up river. We're gonna stop and check out a couple holes on our way back up, see if we can find a couple more fish here this afternoon, but it has just been an amazing adventure. And there is a big king shooting down the sand flat right there. I just wanted to share with you guys one of the tricks that we used that made us successful while float fishing today. We had to really slow down and work these holes thoroughly. Last night and this morning we started off throwing thunder sticks, moving around a lot, but that just wasn't working for us. It's early to mid-August in Michigan right now and the water temperatures are 70 degrees. So the salmon coming into the river right now are already spooky as it is and when they hit that warm water they can be really lethargic and not very active sometimes. So we really had to make sure our presentation was dialed in to a T. We had to make sure our 
bait was getting down to the bottom of those holes and we were setting our rigs just up off the bottom to present that bait right in those fish's strike zone. We had to fish all these holes for at least 30 minutes before we got bit today guys. We had to keep working different seams and keep drifting as close as we could to structure because those fish were buried down deep in the bottom of those holes around a lot of wooden structure and they found a lot of that to get us in today, that's for sure. Well, we made it back. We got the boat picked up. The boat was an absolute disaster. There were eggs scattered everywhere, keer everywhere. We were fishing hard, guys. It was a very tough day. We fished really hard, but it was very rewarding when we got a few fish in the boat. They had their way with me for a while, man. They were getting me in wood, breaking me off, and there's just nothing I can do with them, but that's why we love this stuff so much. So we well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go down below here, leave us a like, and also leave us a comment as well. I'd love to hear what you guys think, and uh, yeah, we'll see you back here next week in our next video.